Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today we're going to be talking about and actually following Kendall Jenner's alleged diet. But first we're going to play a little game called Abby's Daily Hunger Crushing Combo. So tonight's little bedtime snack is going to be a favorite of mine. I'm going to warm up one of my favorite Bilt Bars. This is the Coconut Brownie Chunk. <gasps> and she is so good coming out of that microwave. Let me show you. Mmm. Okay. Smells like a chocolate coconut brownie. So we're gonna take this to the next level. Okay, a little drizzle for some healthy fats. Mm. And top her off with a couple berries on the side. That's our fiber. And now we dig in. Mm. Mm. Mmm, trust me guys, the melted, she just hits different. You guys know I'm obsessed with these Bilt Bars because they are packed with protein. This one's got 15 grams of protein per bar, but it tastes like chocolate because it's made with chocolate. And chocolate, when melted, is fire. So if you wanna try a Bilt Bar for yourself, you can check out the link in the description and use my promo code ABBYSHARP15 to get 15% off of your order. And before we get into it, a quick disclaimer that this diet was compiled from multiple secondary sources where she was quoted or close contact was quoted, which is not exactly scientific research or even perfect journalism. <laughs> So I'm not suggesting that these are her actual meals. But as always with my What I In A Day videos, it doesn't really matter here because my commentary is not really about Kendall's actual diet. I'm using these alleged meals as a template just for teaching gentle nutrition. And that goes without saying that my meals here are not meant to serve as a suggestion of how you should eat. So always speak to a registered dietitian about your unique needs. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We love to see you guys coming back and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram at Abby's Kitchen. All right, let's dive in and get some Jenner Kardashian approved food. So according to Harper's Bazaar, Kendall likes to do her workout at around 7 a.m., which we love to see, because I'm also a morning girl, and she prefers resistance training to cardio. Me too, because running. Uh, my pelvic floor is too far gone for that. And she apparently does a lot of ab exercises to stay lean. Folks, doing ab workouts all day is not the key to looking lean. We have lots of evidence suggesting that you can't just like spot reduce fat in your midsection from doing sit-ups alone. Even if you have very strong abdominal muscles, you need to break down the fat on top of those muscles to see ab definition, which may require a combination of resistance training and cardio, and of course, your diet. So yeah, I'm gonna do a standard full body workout because planking for 30 minutes sounds boring as Okay, so maybe I wasn't feeling a full body workout today. Uh, I did a sampling of a full body workout, just a taste. But I just gotta listen to my body today and I know that I'm just not feeling any kind of hardcore workout. So I'm good and I'm ready to eat. So according to E! News, uh, Kendall likes to start her day with detox tea, 12 cups of it. That's a hard pass. Friends, you do not need to drink detox tea. Hard stop. You have a liver, kidneys, sweat glands, lungs, and intestines to detox your body naturally every day. And yeah, any tea will help support your body's natural detox capacity because it's 99.9999999999% water and water makes you pee, aka detox. 
But some detox blends can actually be dangerous in excess. Some contain herbal laxatives, which can cause diarrhea, nausea, and stomach cramps short term, and electrolyte imbalance, liver damage, and laxative dependence long term. There are actual case studies of this happening, and it's bad news bears. And this is why you're really not supposed to take laxatives for more than a week. Your body might just kind of like forget how to poop and naturally carry out its detoxifying jobs. Not to mention, there are no known benefits from a weight or fat loss perspectives to detox tea, aside from the hypothetical loss of some water weight from diarrhea. Hard pass from me. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on with my coffee and just drink some regular old tap water. <sighs> Whoop! Nature's detox and calls. So according to her now defunct app, in 2017, she was quoted as saying, I don't really cook much other than my standard eggs, avocado, and toast breakfast. I also read in another interview with She Finds that her trainer said that she always has avocado, eggs, and oats. So it seems like she's really into the egg, avocado, and carb combo, which we love to see because it's a built-in amazing hunger crushing combo. So I'm basically just gonna tweak this to my taste and like sneak in a little extra fiber and protein. Let's make breakfast. So here's my little haxies. We got some avocado and like a handful of white beans. Just gonna add some extra protein and fiber, lemon juice, just to add a little extra zing and also prevent browning. Mash it up. If you want this to be like super deliciously smooth, you can put in a food processor, but I just don't have time or interest. Feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland <laughs> because I've, I just feel out of it. Okay. Salt and pepper. That looks good. There you go. It's a great way to stretch a small avocado too. We love that. And then you can get some frustrations out from the day. Got some big old pieces of bread. This is a large piece. It's going to be one or two. Why not two? This is not fitting in my toaster. Is there a point of this? Question mark. What will Kendall Jenner use? She'd probably use this to, to flip. So let's give it a go, friends. Let's spread that bad boy around. Oh my gosh, I picked this up to be like, I actually don't know what I was thinking. I'm. Oh shit. F me. It's not my day at all. Oh, did you hear those cracks? F me. I'm getting old. Old and very much out of it. Where are we going to? All right, let's get some salt and pepper love on these. They kind of got curled up so they can be like toast boats. And. What was I gonna do? Everything bagel. We're gonna basic bitch this up with some everything bagel spice. Let's get our avocado mixture down. I'll divide the love. Just gonna lay it over the bed of bread. It's like twin beds with an egg just like starfished <laughs> across the bed. That's how I. The laziest egg. The laziest egg of life. Where's my cheese? Where my cheese at? Look at that yoki yoki. Mmm. Mmm. 
love a sourdough moment. We got our eggs in there for our protein and we got fat in there too, plus avocado for fiber and healthy fats and the white beans that I snuck in as well, which just bump up the protein and fiber. Delicious, so balanced and obviously super satiating as well. Kendall, you know what you're doing, girl. We love it. All right, so for lunch, Kendall's been quoted in Harper's Bazaar saying that she likes lean chicken, brown rice, and vegetables. So basically like the standard clean eating celebrity diet. But I was personally way more interested in her favorite salad from the restaurant Health Nut, which is apparently the deluxe salad with chicken, hold the tomato. So when I looked this up, honestly, the picture kind of looked like one of those really old school salads that you'd get at like a basic deli. I don't know, maybe it's the optional scoop of tuna salad that gives it that vibe, but that's kind of where my head was going. Kendall goes with the chicken instead, which is what I prefer anyways, but I still do feel like it's a bit of a blah, boring salad. I was just really happy to see that she's keeping the cheese in there because I love cheese. Um, as I know that Kendall has been quoted as saying that she tries to limit her consumption of dairy to help keep her skin clear. I started thinking about my diet a lot and um decided to cut out dairy. I love cheese, so it's hard for me to cut out cheese. And that honestly helped me so much. So Kendall is not alone in choosing a dairy-free life for clear skin. And I've talked about this in more detail here, but some research does support this. One 2018 review found that people who consumed dairy milk were 60% more likely to have acne than those who did not and another large review had similar results. Meanwhile, a 2016 review found only a weak association. Now it's important to note that this is all correlational data and very individualized as well. So not everyone is going to break out when they consume milk. I love dairy and it has no impact on my skin. And it's also worth noting that a lot of the research has actually focused on younger teens. So it is hard to know if this is directly transferable to people at different hormonal stages of life. But of course, if you find that removing dairy from your diet helps your skin, amazing. You unlocked the secret. That's great. If it works for you, it works. And I would say if you are struggling with hormonal acne and aren't sure what the cause is, it is worth experimenting with your diet to just take a look to see. So this is my salad and I don't have acne. I really never have had acne and I really like cheese. Even though I feel like shredded mozzarella is probably the most flavorless cheese, not feeling it. So I'm going with feta instead, which I much prefer. But let's chop some of the essential veggies in her salad. First, we got some romaine. I'm gonna shred up a carrot. chunk of carrot in my throat. <clears throat> All right, carrots in, cucumber. This is the way, that feels better. For some reason she doesn't eat tomatoes, but I like tomatoes. So we're gonna add those bad boys back in. tomatoes can be challenging. <laughs> Kendall prefers the chicken to the tuna. Me too, girl. Me too. So the deluxe salad has sunflower seeds. And I'm adding feta because shredded mozzarella has a zero flavor. This looks like a good salad, man. Like, I'm gonna eat that. Just got a simple vinaigrette here from my fridge. A little bit of you, a little bit of you, a little bit of you. I'd be excited about that. But that's not enough for a meal for me. Your girl needs some carbs. So I got a whole grain pita pocket. Slice that in half. Nice. Open her up. Oops. 
Let's smear some pumas. open without it getting all broken. There we go. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Love that noise. And then we give her a little tossy toss. Hello. Stuff her in. Get in there. All right, oh, run away, get in there. This looks so good. Just gonna start with some fruit, cherries, some wild bloops, and strawberries. Gotta eat them for my kids too, because they are a hot commodity around here. Ooh. Okay, lots of fiber rich veg obviously here in the salad. We've got protein from the chicken. We've got some fiber rich carbs in the whole grain wrap plus all of our fruit. We got healthy fats in the dressing plus the hummus and the cheese and the sunflower seeds. This is a delicious and balanced lunch. Mm. So good. Okay, so according to Kendall for snacks, she loves guac and chips and carrots and hummus, which are two of my favorite go-to snack pairings of all time. But I feel like if we pair them all together, we'll have a amazing super snack. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this might seem unorthodox, but don't knock it till you try it because the combo is bomb. Okay, so hummus has some fiber, some protein, and some fats that's going down and guacamole has fiber and healthy fats so we're gonna mix them together it's gonna be like an avocado hummus and like come on what's wrong with that all right that's going down we got some more fiber in our carrots and some chips for our fun and when I dip, you dip, we dip. Mm. Best of all the worlds. Mm. Okay, so for dinner, it seems like Kendall likes to enjoy a wide variety of foods. Um, I've seen her quoted as saying that she loves to go get sushi and pizza and in and out basically all the good things in life, so I love that. But I was most intrigued by her signature dish, which she describes as the dish that I cook better than anyone else. We shall see, Kendall, we shall see. So I found this recipe for her lemon parmesan fettuccine on People Magazine, and it sounds okay. I mean, it's not calling for like any butter or oil or any sauce here. So like, I feel like it's going to be a little dry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to start to cook things like in the least. We also have to chop an onion. So let's start with that. Need practice with the onions. Five hours later. Add some salt. So I'm using chickpea pasta because this recipe doesn't actually have any protein added to it, but I figure it's a great way to sneak in some extra protein and some fiber as well. Is it rolling? Oh, I, think, I feel like that's rolling. She rolling. Rolling with the homies. Oh, okay, so this recipe does not call for asparagus, but I feel like asparagus and peas and lemon are just like a natural pairing, so it's kind of essential. So I'm just gonna cut some of these up. Add it in. Oh. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so this calls for like a whole bag of peas. That's a 
ton of peas. Like, are we eating pasta or are we eating peas? So I'm just gonna like go have these and split the difference. So that's plenty. Tongue to tongue, tongue, tongues. <laughs> well, I came out way too easily. That tongue to tongue, tongue, tongue. Tongue to tongue, tongue, tongue. You know you're a 90s kid when. Subscribe to my OnlyFans for the best news. And it says we need quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. So I'm gonna eyeball that, slash add as much cheese as my hat desires. <sighs> and it says add a little bit of the pasta water to just make a little sauce. Plus, do we need lemon zest? Or just lemon juice, just lemon juice. All I can say is it's gonna need a hell of a lot more cheese than a quarter cup. See, this is like, ugh. I'm not excited about this. Salt. Peps. Mess. And more cheese. You're grating the cheese so weird. I know, I am. Sorry, you're right. Or this. Yeah, that's the way. There we go. This is the better way. This is the way. You know what this could use? Like an egg yolk. To make it like a carbonara sitch. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so to make this a more satisfying, satiating meal, I'm serving it with some of the extra salad that I made for lunch, which has some chicken on there for some extra protein. Since the pasta dish here didn't really have any official kind of like added protein, but I did try to bump it up a little bit more with the chickpea pasta. So we're getting some protein in there. We're getting some extra fiber. I added some extra vegetables with the asparagus and I added in some healthy fats with the olive oil. So let's take a little tasty. And it's honestly pretty good. The extra cheese absolutely is necessary. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would taste like lemony carbs. Mm. Mm. I'd eat that. Okay, so according to Harper's Bazaar, Kendall's been quoted as saying, I'm obsessed with frozen yogurt. I could eat it every day, but I aim for twice a week as a treat. Girl, you can have Froyo more than twice a week if it brings you joy. I'm gonna make it even more satiating and satisfying by turning into a hunger crushing combo with some berries and nuts. Let's do it. So I just popped some frozen pitted cherries in the microwave, which are like one of my all time favorite things. I don't know, frozen cherries are often just like better than fresh, flavor-wise. Maybe not texture-wise, but definitely in a dessert like this. So I got some vanilla froyo. I'm excited about this. Mm. Vanilla and cherries and almonds, like classic, classic combo. And then we got some crunch factor here with some beautiful almonds. So easy. So we've got fiber, protein, healthy fats in our nuts, plus some extra fiber in our cherries, and lots of delicious flavor in our froyo. We gotta get that cherry sauce. Mm. It is so good. Honestly, Kendall, not a bad day. Like, I'm not mad about it. The froyo definitely made up for the kind of boring salad and the detox tea. Just kidding, nothing's gonna make up for 12 cups of diarrhea tea. But yeah, definitely not the worst Kardashian diet I've ever seen. So if you guys like this kind of video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on who or what you'd like to see me review next. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen.
Bye.